Hey everyone, it's Janine, and this video is going to be on Disney World Vacation Packaging of 2019. If you want to know a little bit more about the vacation packages before you go to Disney, this is going to be a video you're going to want to watch. So if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because it does help my channel out a lot. So let's get into it right now. Also, this video is not sponsored by Disney. It is me trying to give you guys a little bit of information on the Disneyfication packages of 2019. Your basic standard package is your room reservation and your park tickets. There are three options. So the one day park ticket is just one park, exactly what it says. So that would be like Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and no park hopping. So that means you stay in that one park. You can leave, come back, but it's the one park. The second option too is a park hopper. A park hopper is when you can hop from park to park. So for instance, you can start out in Animal Kingdom in the morning and end up in Epcot at the end of the night or in the middle of the day. So you can park hop. You can even do four parks in one day. If you're crazy and you want to do four parks in one day, you can. That's a park hopper. The uh, last one, option three is a park hopper plus a water park. So for instance, if you want to do water park in the morning, you then you want to do Animal Kingdom in the afternoon, and then at night you want to go to Magic Kingdom, you can do that. So that would be option three. You can get add-ons for your vacation package. So you purchase the Disney dining plan up front and it has credits. So you use those credits throughout the whole entire vacation trip. The next item you can add on is PhotoPass. PhotoPass is pretty cool because it is a Disney professional photographer that takes your pictures. They are downloaded on your Magic Band or a small card. Take your pictures and purchase them there at the park. You have up to 30 days after you leave the trip to purchase them. You can also create pretty cool photo albums. So that's pretty neat because it's something that you can do for your whole entire trip. So that's that's pretty cool. I like photo pad. Special events like Mickey's Not So Scary and his Very Merry Christmas Party. Those are special events. Now, the thing with this, this add-on, is that you have to purchase a ticket in addition to your park tickets. You will not be able to get in at the special events without having both. It would also give you um, a chance to meet special characters that you don't usually see all the time, like for instance, the Yogi Boogeyman at Halloween and Maleficent and stuff like that. And so special events, you will see some of the uh, characters that you don't normally can see at the parks. And then the rides are a little bit shorter because you, that's a second purchase, so sometimes people don't want it, they opt out of that, so. How old is everyone and what time of the year is it? Because if you go on a busy time of the year, the um, ticket prices are gonna be a little bit higher and you're gonna have to expect an increase on ticket prices at that time. So like holidays, when the kids are out of school, those are gonna be your busier times. If you stay on property, you can book your reservations for your dining plant 180 days in advance. If you're staying off property, you can book it 180 days in advance, but you would have to book each of your dining reservations every day individually. It actually has a perk to be able to, when you are staying on Disney property, to be able to put them all in at one time instead of every day manually putting them in. Fast passes is 60 days if you're staying on property, 30 days if you're not. The 
Fast passes are pretty cool. I really love fast passes. So that's another um, perk that you get when you are staying at the Disney property. If you're not staying on property for fast passes, you have 30 days to put it in, but you would have to put it in day by day, just like the um, dining plan. What's more benefit to is the extra magic hours. Extra magic hours is pretty cool because Disney allows different parks on different days to be opened at different times. For instance, Magic Kingdom could be opened an hour earlier that day just for the guests that are staying on Disney property. Or they can actually be an hour later for the guests that are staying on the Disney property. Sometimes it's an hour earlier, sometimes it's an hour later. And it could be Magic Kingdom that day, it could be Hollywood Studio one day, it could be Animal Kingdom another day. So check for those because that's a great benefit for staying on property. Free transportation is provided if you are staying on the Disney property. Depending on what hotel you stay at will determine what free transportation you will get. The monorail, the friendship boats, the buses, and coming soon, the Disney Skyliner which is the Disney gondolas. Another benefit of staying on property is you have access to the Disney Magical Express. The Disney Magical Express would take you from the airport to the hotel, and then at the end of your vacation from the hotel to the airport, but that's only if you're staying on Disney property. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. So if you liked the video, please subscribe, hit the bell button, and don't forget to share and like this video. It, it helps me out tremendously and it helps out my channel. So goodbye everybody. I hope everyone has a great day. Be kind to one another. Love each other.